Hey YouTube, wanted to give you a quick update on the vasectomy. So this is day 15. A milestone for me for a couple things. One, it's a milestone because I finished my medication. The medication was some form of antibiotic and it was to be taken three times a day every eight hours for a week. So I started that last Friday when I went to the doctor and said, hey man, I got a problem, something's wrong, there's bruising, it looks really bad, and it hurts like crazy, I could barely walk. So fast forward, taking all those pills um, for an entire week, I saw immediate progress around day two, which was Sunday, I actually walked, went to church, was able to stand up during the worship part of the service, and then sit down when everybody sits down, walk back to the car and then I think after that I went to Costco and I got some stuff and that was much easier to walk there was still some uncomfortable feeling but not nearly as bad as it was before and then the week has progressively gotten better and better and better now what I will say right off the bat the thing I've noticed that I don't think I did as good as I should have is um when so I bought I think they're fruit of the loom boxer briefs right and I've had this for a while and normally they work just fine. They kind of have a pouch in the front, so it just keeps you sort of supported in case you were running or doing any sports stuff compared to, say, like boxers, okay? But I don't think they were supportive enough. And so I found another pair that I had. They were Athletic Works, I think, something at Walmart, but they were like kind of tighter and more almost like a compression-y material. Those, those I've been wearing today, and it's definitely much better than the other ones there's very little movement and so i feel like it's uh keeps everything if there's no movement then there's no pain so that's good um also on a other weird personal level but it just you know we all have to do it going to the bathroom was actually for the first time today i didn't have to support my scrotum while i'm going uh number two <laughs> and it sounds funny but if you go through this, you're going to do that because it's going to hurt and you're going to be like, oh my God, because it will feel like all that weight is just holding, it's just dropping and it's it's pulling and it hurts. So you'll you'll tend to just do that. You'll have to figure out how. But the point is, is that today I didn't have to do that for the first time. So that was nice. Also, <laughs> um, I'm telling you, this is just, this is life. So if people are uncomfortable talking about these things and they really probably should never take off their clothes because they, you know, 50% of the chance you're going to have what I got going on down there. Just saying. But uh, also, um, I noticed that the stitches are almost dissolved on the one side that didn't have all the trauma with the, you know, that didn't have the hematoma. That one, like, it, I mean, it looks just like two little marks. That's it. So not that it's something you just kind of put on as a fashion show to be like, hey, look at my scars. But uh, that's encouraging that it doesn't look like it's just going to be noticeable or that I even had it at all. So I guess that's a positive as well. And then... Like I said, the biggest thing is the fact that I don't have any pain. That is huge. I haven't taken any of the pain meds for the last uh, four days. The doctor gave me some Vicodin, and I needed them Saturday and Sunday for sure, and Friday night, because uh, I was hurting. But I, I wonder if I could have gone back in time, if I could have changed and had those athletic works, uh, sh the boxer brief uh, compression shorts, if that would have been better. Also, something other people have said is they've taken a jock strap and worn that i was trying to figure out exactly what kind of jock strap they were talking because i know there's just the, there's drop jock strap style underwear and then there's the actual jock strap which you would put a cup in and of course i haven't played soccer in 20 years so i don't have a i don't have any of that stuff anymore it's all gone you know so um i was going to do that i actually went to the store yesterday with the intention of doing that and i didn't see anything at walmart so i was like eh but these uh, like i said compression boxer brief shorts are awesome so that's something to consider and i'm just gonna have to basically do some laundry every other day because i have like two pairs and that's it so eh whatever uh something to make sure you do keep this in mind the doctor told me to keep your infection chance down to minimum now, I didn't have an infection that he could see, but you can't obviously see inside the scrotum. So he was like, just to be sure, let's go ahead and give you some antibiotics. I'm not sure if those were the catalysts that made this all work and go better, or if it was just a matter of time and healing just in general. But uh, I will say that they told me to wash my hands before I would actually change my 
close or before I would move because <laughs> you got to move and position it over sometimes because it gets a little sore and you you can't just you know that's not happening so you kind of have to carefully move reposition yourself so you need to do that with clean disinfected hands because your hands can be touching everything and then you can just introduce bacteria that shouldn't be there in the first place um Let's see. So when you go, it's probably a good idea. I mean, any way to take a shower before you get the procedure done. But I actually showered with antibacterial soap just to make sure I didn't get an infection. And I didn't have any of the outside external infections, like any kind of swelling or any kind of oozing or pussing, none of that stuff. So that's good. That means that I think that part I did well. Um, when I would take a shower, it was difficult because you're used to having two hands when you wash yourself. Yeah, well, in the shower... The trauma can feel a little, you know, uncomfortable to say the least. So you usually will end up using one hand to kind of just support your scrotum and the other hand to wash your body off and kind of just carefully let some water run over those stitches, but not like rub anything into them. Um, and so what I did there is I just took antibiotic hand soap and I just sudsed up. And I just started up top and just let it rinse down. And I didn't spend too much time in the shower and I just kind of air dried myself and just then I just put the boxer briefs back on and that seemed to help uh one trick if i mean i don't know why you'd be really in a hurry to uh get the bruising to go away but if you wanted to try something that worked for me as long as you're not allergic i took some pure organic coconut oil and i just put that all over the scrotum because i read that that will also help loosen up the stitches because otherwise they said they can stay there for i think they said they would last a week or two well we're at two weeks and i still have stitches in there so i thought well let me just go ahead and see what coconut oil will do because i read that moisturizer will help get those stitches gone well i've only done that once or twice the stitches are still there they're looser though um which is good but the bruising was overnight gone which is kind of strange so if you want to try that out your own risk but coconut oil on the bruises made every the bruises almost gone the next day i have seen that as the hematoma, I think, breaks up, the blood has to be reabsorbed. And so when that happens, um, the, some new bruises will form. So I'm kind of gauging my success based on pain and swelling, just overall the way I feel. And it just continues to get better. So that's how I'm leaning, that it's continuing to heal and be positive. So I'm going to try a supplement called Ginkgo Biloba. I normally take that anyway when I'm doing my workouts. Um, just gives me more mental clarity and I just feel better when I take it. I read that it helps break up hematomas as well. So I feel like now everything seems kind of harder than it was initially, like maybe six days, five days ago, it was kind of squishy. Now it feels more, a little bit more stiff. So I'm going to try that and see if that, if it's now healed enough to where I can start seeing if that will break it up. What I'm not doing is I'm not taking baths. To soak it because people have said the doctor told them to soak the scrotum in warm water to kind of break up the hematoma help loosen things up the problem is there's still stitches down there soaking in any kind of standing water is going to introduce potentially bacteria to again that same area and i'd rather not have an infection in my scrotum so uh, i can wait a hematoma out because it's still a clean environment what i don't want to do was have another infection because then i have to do more antibiotics and it just can be a mess so Anyway, that's where I'm at right now. Um, other people have uh, actually posted some, uh, I think it was, yeah, no, I never want to say her name is Ashley, but someone else posted some comments, questions on one of the other videos. And I appreciate that because that's the whole idea is ask the questions. Let's just get it out there. What do you want to know about how this goes? Because let's put it this way, in six months from now, I'll forget. And that's no good to anybody. So just let me have it. What do you have? What kind of questions do you want to know about? And I'll answer them as best as I can. And then I'm going to post a video hopefully in another week and kind of go from there. But anyway, I'm overall feeling positive. I haven't uh, done anything specific. Like I haven't, you know, I haven't ejaculated or anything. I'm, I'm just kind of not really feeling like doing that because I don't want to associate that with pain. So I want to be completely good to go pain free before I start just testing that out. Uh, I've read guys have had issues, you know, with them um, psychologically, and that's because they're like, oh man, if I ejaculate, it's going to be painful all the time, and so they were less aroused, they're less interested because they just mentally associated 
ejaculation with pain. And I'm like, yeah, I just don't even want to deal with that. So if I just wait, I'm in no hurry. I'm not 18 running around just like jerking off to a car accident. I mean, come on. It's just, I, no, I can hold off. It's fine. <laughs> I'm a mature man now, so we're good. Um, but I mean, eventually I'll get around to making sure everything is fine and testing that out. But I have no worries. Erections have been um, annoyingly healthy and constant. So they actually are the only reason why I haven't slept very well is because I just wake up to them uh, every four hours. And I don't know why, but whatever. So anyway, hope this helps. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions and I will see you guys later.